3D from Caesar Graphics and I have four designs from the creatives members and um, you know, I want to appreciate those of you who are sending your designs for me to critique and I am going to go straight to my very first design here which is um, a church poster so on this first design I noticed that um, this design lack good contrasts you know like I always say to you guys that first work first draw out what you want to use to draw people's attention to read the other information on the design yes it's good that I already have a picture of um, you know a character here but aside from the picture your title also should be the next thing that you're supposed to use to draw people's attention to um, the project because the way people assess you know design is this when they see an image on your design the first the next thing they look for is the text that say what the image is about but when you know that when you don't now play with the text well or you don't arrange the text the right way the beauty or the success that the project is supposed to achieve is not going to work okay so i expect this to um i expect this to not be as big as this and this impartation so this is still okay for the title so all right in fact i'm sure looking at it now you see that the design is looking better than what we what the designer did before and then again this icon is not supposed to be here so it should be here this should align this so if you look at it now you see it's already making it, the project already makes sense and then this your time here so our advice to take this out why because Whenever you squeeze text like this in a shape, it's not always um, it's not always it's not always nice because it's always looking as if everything is too tight. I'm just gonna put the time here. So I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna show you where to put that stuff I removed because of time. I'm only gonna show you how to time if you're trying to put it in a you know circle shape like you did on the project. So this is what I would expect I expect you to do. Okay, so this is good and this is okay all right so i'm going to go straight to the next design now which is um this okay so the problem with this again is the use of white space and then the use of colors that are you know <laughs> calling for attention at the same time and then again another thing you need to work on here is the use of white space allow room for your content to be because the information here is too much and then again another thing you need to work on here is please whenever you are placing the element on your project please arrange them in a perspective um, view all right and a perspective layout like where you know the things that are closer to the eye are always bigger than the one that are far from the eye all right you know placing and arranging your content that way is going to make your project look interesting but don't worry i will advise you don't sign out because i'm going to put everything that I, I i explain here on the redesigned version of this design review okay so then i'm going to go straight to my next design here which is um, a concert and um the information on this is written in french so i'm sure this is from a french speaking country okay so um what i'm only going to say to this is Whenever you're working on design that got to do with concert or entertainment, please make it bright. Like, you know, make it more fun. Make it more funky. Like, make it look interesting. Don't make an entertainment design look like a corporate design. All right? When you do that, you are not passing the right message well. All right? You're not really telling the right story well. So, all right. So, let's see our next design. All right, so this is our last design for today, and um, what I notice here is the use of dull colors. All right, the use of dull colors, and then the contrast here is not um, balanced. And like I always say to you guys, that whenever you are giving project like this to work on, if the client send you um, many pictures, it's not compulsory you put all the pictures on the design. The only time you do this is if you are trying to design a portfolio and this is not a portfolio a portfolio is different from a flyer and how we do that or how we let people know that is the amount of information we put on it you don't tell your full story your full biography on a flyer design 
there should be suspense there should be something that will make them want to call you to say okay can we see more of what you do because when you load your design with too many information like the way this um designer did with his client here um it won't it will make them start looking at it will make them start looking at the brand like a cheap you know organization so i'm going to quickly redesign this and for any one of you that want to work on this on your own i have the link the link to the exercise file in the description section of this video so you can get the exercise files and then try the process again but i would advise you try the process because trust me by the time i'm done with the redesign version of this artwork you won't have any other choice than to quickly go and redesign it okay so let's start with the redesigned version of this artwork so i'm going to create a new document and i'm going to break down every move i make on this project and my width is going to be 800 height is going to be 800 resolution is going to be 72 because we are not going to print this all right this is going to be on social media and uh, my color mode is going to be rgb and i will leave every other settings the way they are and i'm going to select the create uh, button so i'm going to drag my cake in here like so and i'll scale this down now i got this image from unsplash.com so you can get the link in the description section of the video all right so i'm acting like this is the cake from the client so i'm going to zoom in now and let's see the parts where I, i'm going to pick the color so i'm going to click on my foreground color picker and just pick this color from here all right and I'm going to apply the color with alt backspace like so all right now you see that with that small move alone you see that our cake is already looking beautiful on the background so I'm going to position this here and because I want attention to be on the cake I'm going to activate my curve adjustment here and just dial this down like so all right then I'm going to hit ctrl I to reverse the mask and i'm going to select my brush tool here all right and i'll go to my brush setting here and choose soft round brush so if you can't find your brush tab simply go to windows and this is it here okay all right so um i have transfer checked here but if you don't have a graphics tablet simply turn down your flow to eight or nine and then you are still going to achieve the same move so for those of you that don't know the reason why i always turn on my transfer is because i always want to be able to control the strength of my brush okay layer uh, my layer mask here is set to black i'm going to switch to white here because it has to be the opposite color of my layer mask so i'm going to apply my brush here now i have this image that um i got from google so i'm going to drag the image and drop here all right so i'm going to convert this to a smart object so the advantage of converting it to a smart object is so as to still maintain the quality of the image even as you scale down or increase the size of the um, image okay so i'm going to scale this big like so and make it bigger all right and hit the enter key like so all right so this should be here and I'll change my blend mode to screen because I don't want to see that black stuff from it. So I'm going to put it in here. You know, when it comes to designing design that got to do with food, um, part of how you are going to help the design look uh, beautiful is by uh, making it look entertaining, like making doing more of um, uh, you know little playful effect on it okay that way it's going to draw attention and another th reason why i always say that you should not load the design with too many pictures from the client is because um the look of the food like if you don't use too many images like you use just one image is going to make the mouth watery it's going to you know draw attention to the subject so then i'm going to just reduce the opacity a bit, a bit like so and another thing i want to teach you guys how to do when it comes to playing with um you know elements on your design is picking um stuff from your image all right so this is what i'm trying to say here so i want to make this look interesting so i'm going to zoom in and i'll select my pen tool and just cut out this star from the cake 
and this will be on the cake layer so I'm going to just cut this out like so alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control and click on the shape layer right to activate the uh, parts that we just drew and I'm going to hide this and hit control J so I'm going to convert this to a spot object and I'm going to position this here and I'm going, to, I'm going to rotate it with the free transform and I'll make a copy of this and position this here again activate the free transform and right click and select 180 degree rotation scale it down make a copy again and I'm going to position this here now simple things like these are what always make designs look beautiful all right if you look at the body of my cake here you realize that I have different colors of the stars there's something called unity in graphic design all right making the element of your design work together make them look like they are one family and that's what i'm trying to achieve here all right if i use just one color of the star here it will still work it's just that it will really look better like if we have them in different colors all right so i'm going to start with this select this and i'll right click on the layer and select rasterize hit control u for pc users and command you for mac users and select colorize so the first color i'm going to switch to i'm going to change to is this orange here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move my hue to where i have orange and i'll move my saturation down to this side and now you see i have the same shade of orange i have here so i'm going to move this here a bit or oh, let's just use my mouse i'm going to use my mouse for this so i'm going to move this here like so and I'm going to select the OK button. Then let's see. I'm going to move another. I'm going to select another star again. And I'm going to right click and select Rasterize and hit Control U to activate Hue Saturation and select Colorize again. And this time, let's see the color we're going to use. Uh, let's use um, um, ba -bam -bam red. All right. Or should we use white? Let's just use white. So for white, what you need to do is just move this to this side and move this to this side. Okay. And select the okay button and uh, for this i'm going to make this red so i'll right click and select rasterize control u and select colorize and this time i'm going to move this to red let's go on red and i'm going to increase this to this side like so and select the okay button so uh what i'm going to do now is um for this star here i'm going to make a copy of this all right and i'm, I'm going to hit ctrl j on it and activate the free transform make this bigger rotate it a bit and position this here because when you do this the other thing you need to do again is to create what i call depth all right the depth part is what always make it look more real so i'm going to position this here and go to filter and select uh, blur gallery and hit the field blur option here let's just leave it as 13 all right and i'm going to select the ok button i'm going to make the same move here on this um start here five is fine all right and i'm going to select the ok uh, button so i'm going to uh, make a copy of this all right i'll make a copy of this and position this here and i'll activate the free transform on it and make this bigger all right now somebody will say so caesar why do you have to do this so the reason why you need to do this is to create allow more attention to be on this all right so the idea is to make it look like these stars dropping here is um some of them blew to this side of the frame all right and um simple things like these are what always you know make design look uh, interesting okay so but the way it is now here is taking uh, more attention so this is where color needs to come in all right this is where you now need to dial down the color and this is another thing you know you guys need to know how to do well um, anything that you are not trying to lay emphasis on on your design project should not have um, strong color like the color should not be too strong which is uh, part of which is also what I mentioned when I was critiquing design with the bags and the shoes all right so the background your background color should not take more attention than the important information on your design and that's why if you notice 
the color on my background here you realize that it's not really as strong as the color on my subject okay so then i'm going to move this here like so and i'm going to activate the cover adjustment and i am going to dial this down like so now this is affecting the entire project so i'm going to click on the clip icon here to say i only want this to touch the uh, blood style right so i'm going to move this here i'm going to drag this down like so okay and still on the same layer i'm going to select hue saturation and use the saturation to dial down the strength of the color till we have this now you see this is <laughs> making sense already so go behind the layer of the cake and create a new layer and call this layer um i should call it light it should be light because looking at here now um it's still not looking okay for me so what, what i'm going to do is to pick a color from my background okay then i'm going to pick a color from here like so and i'm going to move this up a bit i select the ok button and okay so i'm going to do it now so i'm going to just drag this down like so all right and um this need to be behind the floor layer like so all right then i'm going to activate the levels on it because the color is still not looking okay the way i want it so we need to fine tune this so to do that now i'm going to move from this side down to this side to create that light effect on it like so and i'm going to select the okay button i'm going to click on this now the reason i'm adding curve is because um i always like to use curve to you know make the uh project have more depth all right because the way it is now is looking too flat for me so i'm going to move this down a bit like so and i'm going to move this up a bit like so all right that's too much so it'll be here had hue saturation and increase the color or boost the color with saturation like so now you see this is already looking mouth um leaking all right or mouth watering already um it's always good to make your layer panel neat when working with um photoshop because most time um what always get make us get out of using photoshop is when we have our layer panel loaded with too many layers so i'm going to add my um text now but before i add my text i already created the logo here myself so i'm going to copy the logo now and i'll take it to photoshop all right so i'm going to do that by selecting it i'm going to select it and hit ctrl c on my keyboard for windows users and command c for mac users and then i'll go straight to photoshop and paste it all right then um so when you see this option please make sure you select shape layer and the reason why i'm asking to select the shape layer i'm going to show you now so i'm going to select the ok button so because to select the shape layer we have the grace to change the color of our objects here in um, photoshop so i'm going to select my move tool now and activate the free transform on the layer i'll make this smaller and this should be here okay so that's where my logo is going to be and i'm going to type the title so like i said i need to close this and then paste so this need to be above because i because so because we're going to make this a bit playful i'm going to use uh, a display type to make this look more interesting so um the font i'm going to use here is called kg second so i'm going to turn off cap so because this type of um, font won't uh, be visible on um, small lettering i am going to use another font whenever you're working on design project please always have your audience in mind okay so i'm going to change this to more tracks everything on the title is important delicious supposed to be as bold as mouth watering cakes but because i really want to help the look of my layout here i'm not going to use the same font but i'll use color to say this is important in fact i want you guys to see this so i'm going to double click on the layer what i'm going to do now is to put the title in a group 
So I'll shift select the two layers and hit Ctrl G. All right, then I'll activate the pre transform skill. Then I'll move this up a bit. So what I'm going to do now is to add the other um, information, but because of time, I'm going to pause this side of the video. All right, and by the time I'm done, you guys are going to see the information on the screen. Okay. All right. So um, this is what we have now, and I'm going to break down my move here. So like I said, that the eye movement is very important, which is hierarchy on your design project. So what I did is I made this the uh, this is going to be the first thing people will see the cake, and then after the cake. They see the title, so they connect the title with the cake, all right. And when they see that the the look of the cake looks attractive, then the next thing that that you know catches their attention is the contact us, and then they narrate the other information on that design. So the reason why I decided to use cap here and use um certain case here is because I want to you know let my viewers know that the, that the information here is different from what we have here so part of how we do that in graphic design is the use of um, changing from cap to title case down to sentence case uh, i know so many designers always think okay the only way they can create that um separation is by using scale no scale is not the only way you can achieve that font weight is another way you can do that and um graphics and design so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials share like and comment on this video and i'll see you in the next one peace